Hey everyone, my name is Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to use the new scroll effects that came out with Divi 4.3. So I'm going to walk you through what those are and show you just a couple examples and maybe slow it down to a nice pace where you can actually see what's going on and then give you a couple of tips, a couple of warnings and you know things like that how to use these effectively on your Divi website. All right, well, let's get started and see this new feature. Okay, so I have an example website here that we're gonna be playing around in, and I've already set up one of the animations here. All right, there you can see as we scroll down through here, this image does all kinds of things. In fact, it's doing six different things. And these are what Divi is calling scroll effects. So you might know these from Elementor. I think they called them motion effects. It's, you know, if I say that, it's the same type of thing. So it's scroll effects. When you scroll down the page, we are creating animations. And in fact, Divi's calling this like an animation builder, which I can kind of see what they mean by that. So um, these, these things work like when you're scrolling with your mouse and also like if you're scrolling up and down on your phone or tablet. And they, they're really just, you know, animations that are sometimes they're um, going horizontal or vertical or fading, rotating, things like that. And they're all based on the scroll. So, you know, in the past, um, we're familiar with parallax, where when you're scrolling, you know, you have a background image that's sort of um, either still in one place as you're scrolling or kind of scrolling along, but like delayed at a different speed. And you can kind of think of these as like, sort of like parallax effects, but they're much more and they have their own intuitive builder. So let's go in here and take a look at what has been added here in Divi uh, 4.3 with the new scroll effects. Okay, so it's important to note that these new settings are in all of the sections, rows, columns, and modules. So if we were to go into any section, row, column, or module to the advanced tab, we could scroll down and see this new toggle called scroll effects, okay? So it's going to be in any of these. Let's go in here um, and look at the six options that we have available, um, these new effects. So the first one is vertical motion. So as you're scrolling, um, the object on the page will move in some way up and down. And then horizontal, it's the same thing where as you scroll down, an object is going to move sideways. Next one is fade. So a lot of times you'll, you'll see this where an object is coming up from the bottom and it's faded, maybe like almost transparent or fully transparent. And as it comes up, it comes into like a clear, you know, 100% opacity and then maybe it will fade off again. Okay. And then scale. So, you know, you want to change the size up and down of an object as it comes into focus, as it comes across our screen, we might want it to get large or small. Rotate, so an object might come rotating in. And again, some of these you know work best when they're combined. Um, and then a blur effect, so you might have something that kind of blurs, and then in the center here it's clear. So what I did, remember when I showed you the one that was moving around here, what I actually did to this image was just turned all of them on by default. So let's do that. Um, in fact, why don't I just go in here? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go in here to the toggle. I'm just gonna um, reset these, and then we can take a look um, at when we add them. So underneath each one of these new six items is a toggle. And, and that's kind of nice because rather than like if I was going in here and I clicked on here, um, I could, you know, accidentally turn one of these on and that would be kind of terrible. Um, but, you know, for each one of these, we can enable it and then it brings up a new set of design options for each one of these. Okay. So I've enabled the vertical motion and by default, it comes in with different types of things here. So let's just this is going to be similar for um for all of these here so i'll just kind of explain the the one here on the left so this is we're calling this the starting offset and notice it says viewport bottom so okay so this is the bottom of our screen so the left here is the bottom of our screen 
And then over here on the right side, it says viewport top and ending offset. And now this, this terminology down here is going to be a little different for each one. For example, let's, let's go in here. For example, here, opacity, you know what I'm saying? Um, viewport bottom and top are the same, but you know, there's, there's different things. So if we were rotating, ending rotation, starting rotation, you see what I'm saying there. So the, again, so it's the bottom here is where um, we think of the left and then the top of the screen we think of as the right. And then in the middle is just, um, it's at, it's centered right now by default, it's at 50%, but you can actually drag, um, these little guys out or you could, yeah, you can drag any of these around. Okay. Like the starting offset would start at, um, 25% up the screen. So a quarter of the way up the screen, but I'm saying here also you can, um, if I can get it, it's kind of finicky. You can drag the middle one apart and uh, make the middle um, an area in here. So like in, in this example, it it's not going to be, um, um, well, any, here, let me turn some of these off. They're actually kind of getting in my way. I just want to focus on this one. Okay. So here, um, as we come up, see how it's moving. You can kind of see that I'm moving it a little, but it's moving a lot. And then in the middle, see how it's going with my scroll. Nice and easy. And then all of a sudden it picks up again. That's happening at this point And then at this point, so it's, it's actually, um, I just want to, I just want to make it obvious to you what's happening here. Okay. So again, it's, it's going to scroll fast up to 44%. See how it's scrolling fast. And then my bar on the right side and then in that little bit, and then it does it again. Um, you know, we could take this down and, um, at the bottom it would come in at 15%. So I hope that makes sense. Now this offset here, notice that there's like a little grayed out number that comes in here by default. So for the vertical motion, um, it's at four and then it ends at negative four and, and think of it as like the offset, um, think of it as based off of where it was by default fault when you when you place this image here okay so let's make it um a little more obvious that's in fact that's let's just move to the horizontal motion one and see this is kind of makes it a little more obvious so i can move this like um starting point number and then as we go down you see what i'm saying the offset is like now if i change that in here to like zero right if I would make this zero, well, that's where we had the image. See, that's where we, that's where we had the image. Uh, I, I mean, when we start, <laughs> it's gonna see what I mean. It's coming up right in the middle where we want it. And then as it gets to like 50%, it's starting to go from like zero to negative four, meaning negative to the left. I know this is a lot to take in, but, um, in other words, if we had these set to zero, nothing would happen. There'd be, there would be no offset. You see, there's no horizontal movement. Now, if we would make this zero or sorry, negative something, you know, at the bottom, it's going to come in negative, meaning to the left, right? And then it's going to go out and we could, in fact, we could make this negative because this middle one is higher, we could make it positive. So this thing's gonna go crazy. See how it's negative from the left, goes over to 3.5 to the right, and then it's trying to go back to the negative 4.5. Do you see that? Okay. All right, so let's turn that one off. Um, the fade is, you know, um, think of it as the opacity. I guess fade is an easier word to, I don't know, to call it that, but um, so here, here it is. It's starting at zero. It's literally starting at nothing. And then it's at the, the top of our screen, it's fully, um, visible, but the whole way it's actually changing. And, you know, we could move this around. Um, I guess we could say like, we want it to fade in really fast like that and stay visible. So yeah, real slow. And then, um, in a sense, you could reverse it. Like if I type in a hundred percent or yeah, <laughs> accidentally typed in one ninety nine, but if I typed in a hundred percent there and like zero here, right. Um, and then I guess we could, yeah. Okay. So in this way it comes in fully visible at the bottom and it's going to fade out. 
because remember this is the viewport top and the bottom and you can move these around so hopefully this is making sense um, I, I think a lot of these you're gonna want to combine at least at least more than one um, not sure about all of them but okay so this one is scale so there you can see it's kind of small it's literally 70 percent by default when it's coming up at the bottom and then it's going to 100 percent by the time it reaches this 50 percent mark it's 100 percent now if we move this over to like 74 percent like it's going to be 70 percent and then it's not going to reach 100 so it's three quarters of the way up the screen and of course this the same same process here now rotation um <laughs> see that it's actually starting at 90 percent you know what if we did 180 okay and then move that over here okay so now it's going to change from um, upside down to right side up and then we could really throw in some wonky stuff you know what I mean like you could and you could just go crazy with this um, it's a little finicky but it's okay um, so like it's upside down and then it's gonna turn that way and then it's gonna turn back the other way so and then blur it's kind of boring okay so let's turn them all on again and but there I'm almost done but there's a couple of things I want to point out that are really critical I would say <laughs> very critical actually and I'm not sure I hope Debbie fixes some of this I'm gonna show you so I guess I should say at some point I'm not really a big fan of this update I mean I'm okay with it but let's try to focus on conversion on our websites and providing value for clients let's not focus on making stuff fly all over the place okay so let's think about making people money um, instead of making people go oh that's cool and then leaving so, okay so they're all on and I want to show you something what about mobile and that's kind of my biggest gripe right now um, so right now like when you turn these on that they're just on by default and they're actually on all devices by default now you'll notice that there's no responsive button on these but there is down here you know there's this desktop tablet and phone um, that's my biggest gripe like I want to just be able to turn off phone completely but to do that see how I have them all on let's 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 go to phone and show you um, it'll you know and what I'm saying is to turn them off what you have to do is go and type in zeros in all these things. You see what I'm saying? See, it's still moving all around like crazy. Now, if we didn't want this um, this effect here, we'd have to go through all of them. Put a zero, zero, and we got to go here. Put zero, zero, zero. You see what I mean? All we got to go through. Um, well, <laughs> for this, you'd put a hundred, hundred, hundred. You know. Um, 100 and 100 and 100 percent and then zero 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 and you know zero pixels for mobile um, I don't know maybe they'll update this but that would be my my gripe my complaint but also warning like be careful if you're building these on desktop and then um, you forget about the other devices because they're going to be on by default okay so that's it that's all i wanted to show you have fun with this guys um i'd love to see what you guys build with these i would like to see some like really good use cases i'm sure elegant themes is going to come out with like a whole ton of like um their little tutorial things on on that with layouts but i don't know like i'm thinking practically i want to i want this to be like i do want to see if i can figure out how to like make this valuable make this valuable to my clients and things like that and not just be like oh wow but like you know make something that does is useful and i realize all that plays a part um in, in the in the landing pages and things like that but 
anyway, that's, that's all I have for this. Hopefully this was helpful at least. Um, hopefully, hopefully it can give you a good idea of what this update's all about. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed learning about the new scroll effects in Divi. If you want, subscribe, and we do Divi tutorials here on this channel. So if you're new here, you might want to check those out. We have been releasing um, maybe two to three videos every single week, something that solves problems in Divi and enables users to um, utilize Divi to the best of their advantage and sometimes even um, throwing in some nifty little code hacks and things like that. So if that sounds like you, be sure to subscribe, check out our Divi Teacher Facebook group, and we'll see you guys in the next video.